Hello everyone and welcome to another Yorkie Fits and Bob's Home Tech. Today we have another unboxing and it's a flashlight. It's from a company called ESDDI and this is the GN58 model and it's a flashlight to go on your camera and this will work on a Canon camera. It won't work on a different make like Sony. You'd need to buy a different model but the reason this will only work on a Canon I will show you a bit later once we do the unboxing. So first of all, I'll show you around the box, and then as we undo the boxing, I'll uh, explain how things work. Well, hopefully, I'm not a professional uh, photographer, and I don't know all the deep, fine details of how these things work. I'm still learning, so it's a learning curve for me, and hopefully it'll be a learning curve for you. I had a look on uh, Amazon. It cost me just under £60, which is about just under $70 in America. Yeah, I had a look on Amazon and I thought, well, that's a reasonable price because these can be very expensive, by the way. And it seemed to do everything that the more expensive ones do. And I didn't see any really bad reviews on this. So I thought, yeah, I'll give it a go. You can always send it back, can't you, if you're not happy with it. So with that, I'll shut up. We'll do the unboxing. And as we go through the process, I'll explain to you how some of the parts work and why this would only work on a Canon and not work on a Sony things like that okay so with that should we get on with the unboxing so first of all I'll show you around the box there's not a lot to see by the looks of it so it says flashlight ESDDI on the front nice little picture so uh, well, and I've said this before packaging is all about protecting the product inside which it does and giving you a, an idea of what's inside which it does so quickly looking on the side it says flashlight says it's made in Germany uh, got an address on the back, just says flashlight on the side, and a web address on the top, which is esddis.com. There you go, and nothing on the bottom. So, with that, shall we get the unboxing done? Like I said, I thought it was a good price anyway. Not, I'll always stick a link in the uh, description so you can check it out. So, let's see what you get. So, What's this? Right, this is a stand for the flashlight. You don't have to put the flashlight on top of the camera if you don't want to. You can actually put it on a stand like this. And you can have it to the side of the camera or in somewhere else. And it has a little remote that can sit on the camera. So when you press the button on the camera, it will set the flash off. And the idea of something like that is to give you a different light effect. Say you wanted, you're taking a picture from the front and you want it light from the side. So you take the picture, the flash will flash to the side and give you a different effect. It will give you like a shadow effect on one side. And you might want to do that. That's the idea of something like that. What else have you got in there? So it looks like we have the instructions. And we have two instructions. So the first one is about the flash trigger. There's a thing called a flash trigger. That's a thing that sits on there if you don't want the light on there. And that will trigger the flash at the same time as the camera. So that's that. And it should be... Yeah, and it's got different settings. I'll just show you. See all the settings up there? These here. There's 16 different settings. And that's for your wireless radio uh, control. So, for instance, if you're out and about and you've got the flash on there and there's a load of other photographers there and all got similar uh, wireless connections, you press the button and someone else's flash goes on, it means you're connected to the same uh, radio control frequency. So you can change the radio control frequency on your flash so that yours flash is separate to everyone else's. That's what that's for. Because you don't want your flash going off when you think, why is my flash going off? And that would be the answer. Uh, and this is the actual main bit for the camera. And it says here, it's got three different languages. It says uh, English, Dutch and Japanese. And it has 43 pages. So I'm not going to go through them all. I'll just quickly show you. So obviously you can have a, a picture of uh, all the functionality and all the different things that it's got in there. Uh, like a thing called a bounce card and a, a diffuser. So I'll get her out of the box. Now, there's nothing else in the box, so we've done we've done the stand, we've done the manual, now let's look at the main product. So it comes in a very nice bag by the looks of it. 
And that feels like really good quality bags. It's got ESDDI on the front, as you can see there. Uh, what's that? Is that Velcro? It's got a Velcro uh, belt clip, so that will go like that or on something else, and you can clip it onto another bag for easy carrying. So you've got half a dozen bags, which I do when I'm out and about. If I'm, if I'm flying my drones or something like that, I'll have my camera in my, in my bag, my drone in my bag, I might even have two bags, so this would be ideal for clipping onto one of them. And it has a little bottom compartment here. So let's see what's in here. All oh, right. So in here we have the trigger. And it says ESDDI on the front, G4, 2.4 G, uh, TX. Don't ask me what TX stands for, I don't know. As a test button, the idea of the test button is you can press that just to make sure that your... Um, wireless radio connection is working you know you've got them on the same station to the flash so it's talking to the flash so you can just press that button and it will flash yeah and it's got an on off button on the side and that will connect to your camera and that's your, that's your locker so it just slides on your camera and then your locking position and that's that done so, oh the battery compartment it's got a little battery compartment in there doesn't come with any batteries and what I'll do, I'll put a link in there for the batteries that you may need, so you can check them out. Uh, also, uh, if you don't want to do it on the, actually on the camera, if you don't want to fit on the camera, you can actually get a lead that can plug into the side of this. It doesn't come with the lead, because it's designed to actually just sit on the camera. That's what you really need that for. But we're, I'll do a demonstration of that later on. So that's that little bit. I'll just quickly show you that. Make sure I show you there, no? Yeah? That's that. And anything else in the bottom? I think that was it in the bottom. Oh no, no, the same as a diffuser. So most diffusers nowadays are plastic anyway, so which is good because if you drop it, it ain't gonna break, is it? So that's the diffuser and that goes over the lens of the flash. Yeah, so we'll get to that later as well. We'll do a demonstration. And that's it in the bottom, and then you've got some little holes there, and I'm guessing that would be for your batteries. So if you want to store your batteries with it, that one, two, three, four. So that would be for four batteries. So probably one old that battery on that one, but it'll hold you four, I believe it takes AA batteries. So that's that compartment done. Oh, I've missed that a bit. There's a little clip here. Yeah, I missed that. That's it. So it's a little clip folding things up, or you can attach it to as well. Again, it's a Velcro uh, cover. Let's get the main body out. Put that on there to one side, see if there's anything else in there. No, that's empty. Uh, there's a little pocket there. So you can put your bits in there as well, so that's quite nice. Oh, I'm quite impressed with that little bag, actually. So here's the main body. First impressions, it looks like quality, do it? Very nice. So it, it should do 360 degree uh, turning, which it does. So you go right round, uh, any angle. And the idea of the any angle, by the way, in case you don't know, is um, say you're indoors like now. And I've got quite a low ceiling, so it's perfect for something like this. And you don't want to pop point the light directly at the subject, whatever the subject is. If you point the light, you're going to get reflection slightly, especially if it's a person's face or something. It will reflect some light, probably the light you can see on me now. So the idea is you can bounce it either off the walls, off the ceiling, or off another wall, or something else. And it will uh, disperse it the brightness of it slightly and you can use a thing like this the diffuser which again will take the harshness off the light so you put that on the front and that will do that that's what a diffuser does take the harshness off that's probably not the correct uh, word to say but that's what I'm calling it harshness and uh, let's have a look see what it does right as a zoom in and a zoom out like I said earlier and we'll get on to that in a minute so battery compartment on the side and yeah, it takes four double A's. And what's those? Uh, S, Y, and C. I have no idea what's that. 
could be mains, could be a mains controller on the side, I'm guessing, because I haven't read the instructions yet. So that's that. And then you have all your controllers and uh, the locking mechanism. That, that can either sit on your camera or it can sit on this like I showed you earlier. So for instance, I'll do this right now. Put that on there. Right, so lock it up. Even shows you which way to lock it. So you wind that down and then all that does is stop it coming out. And sit on your desk or wherever you're going to sit it. So if you want it away from your main cameras, right over there somewhere, and you press your button on your camera, that will flash from the side or at the ceiling or wherever you want to point it. That is the idea for that. I think that's really clever. I really like that. What I'll do now is I'll get some batteries. I'll plug the batteries in and we'll give it a test, shall we? Right, so I've got the batteries. I've already put it in. There's the little one, the little tiny battery. Yeah, so that's all ready in there. That's ready to go. And the double A's I've already put in. And they go alternative ways, which is good. So that's already set to go. And we'll turn it on. And the way to do that is you hold the on off button for a few seconds till it comes on. And it's set on slave. You've got master and slave. I'm not sure what the master bit uh, does, but I know you need to set on slave so that the camera can control it. And we can test if it's working. Like I said earlier, this is a test button. So to test that you've got it on the right uh, frequency or they're matching up together, you can just press this button and it flashes. See that? So that's what that does. And again, I will show you the zoom. So you have a zoom button. See that? So the zoom button there. And let's see if I can show it. Can I get right around? I can. Look, right. You might be able to see that zoom in and out. So you press the zoom button and then you've got... See that? That's really cool. And it tells you millimetres, so how far up and down it gets. And the reason you might want to use something like the zoom is when it's right back, it's a bit like looking through a telescope. So it's more directional. Yeah, and then when it's right forward, it's more dispersed. So the light disperses more. I'll see if I can make it flash with it right back. So that's right back now. Well, I should be able to make it flash. You probably won't notice. Oh, that is on 135. Oh, let's go back. I want it on 180, really. So I'll do it again. That's on 180. And then we'll go to the other extreme, which is 35. No, no, we want that forward more, don't we? We want it an 18, so that's 18 millimetres, that's as far as it goes forward. See that? So that's what that does, and I thought that's very good. I write the little blue uh, light to show the uh, flashes on, and you can press that to test it as well. That's pretty good. <laughs> Quite impressed myself, you know. Uh, right, and this is a light, so if you're doing something at night time and it's really dark, you press this button and it lights up. And that looks really nice as well, I quite like that. It looks very professional. And, you know, it's £60, pounds, a lot of money, or just under £60, pounds, a lot of money for anyone. Or like I said, $70. So, the settings, there's a lot of settings to there. I did look at how to reset it to uh, factory defaults, and basically where it says clear, you hold them two buttons in for so many seconds and it will just clear it and put it back to default. Doesn't delete it, just puts it back to default. So if you get confused, don't know what you're doing like me and you want to put it all back again, you can do that. Right, so what we will do now is I'll put on the camera and show you what it looks like. My Canon camera is already here by the way, but I'm using it with a light on and the reason I'm using it with a light on because it gives more light to me so hopefully it makes the video more clearer for you. So I'll just show you. See that? So I, I use this light, and this light works very well uh, for what I need it for, which is for when I'm doing my filming. And I do use it for taking photos with. But the flash is more professional and hopefully will give a better lighting as well. There's a lot of adjustments on this thing. There's a lot I don't understand yet, but 
over the coming weeks, months, I'm going to try and learn as much as possible I can about how to use it. And um, hopefully there's more videos for you to show you how to use it in case you're beginning like me on using something like this professional flash. So basically, right, basically what I do, I'll put this on first. So we'll stick this on first. Uh, I don't think this matters which, perhaps it does, yes. Right, let me just show you this. This is why this only works on, on this, on a Canon. See these little pins here, yeah? You have four little pins and one main pin. This, and it doesn't really show you properly on that one. So I need to get this off first. So undo that. Slide the baby out. Right. This, see that? As them pins. So them pins line up with them pins. So I'll put it on here first, actually. So that goes on that way. So you, the single one goes forward to match up with the others. And what that does, it allows the camera to take control. So now my camera should be able to do the flash. I'm just going to test it out. Oh, better take cover off. Don't. See that? And that should have worked out. I didn't see it, but I'm guessing it did. Yes. So that allows the camera to control that. Because that is now a slave, that's set as slave. Master, I'm not sure what that does exactly, so I'm not going to try and explain it yet. And that would be for a later video. And obviously we'll go into the settings. So what I'll do now is I'll take that off. So like I said before, you can change the angle, bring it down, all sorts. There's other features I'm going to show you in a minute. But before that, which I think you'll also uh, find interesting, hopefully. So, like I said, this is like your little switch controller. This works slightly different, so that goes on there like that. And you can still test it. Make sure you do it up. And basically what that does, it allows me to put this light somewhere else. Hopefully. Oh, sorry, it's gone off. I turned it off. Ready? So yeah, so like, so you can have it like that, facing me, and it'll give me a different light if the camera was facing me. I can put this camera on the timer as well. So that's what that does. Not only that, it has a thing called a bounce card. I'll uh, show you right now. So in here, you have like another diff type of diffuser, this thing here, and uh, a bounce card. And what this does is, say for instance, I've got the light on my camera sitting up there. And I don't want the light pointing directly at my subject, whatever the subject is. But I want some of the light to go to my subject. This will work as a bounce card. You can either add with the diffuser on or without. So not the plastic one, obviously, because that would just bend up. So what happens is when I press the button, like so, the light will point up or wherever, whatever direction I want it to. And some of the light will hit this card and bounce towards the subject. That's the idea of that. And I thought, that's quite clever. And if you haven't got one of these, you can just use like a, a white plastic card. That's all it is, a bit of white card. And yeah, that's what it does. Just reflects the light in the direction that you want it to go. So I thought that was quite a neat little trick. But like I said, I did look on YouTube, did read some of the reviews. And... Yeah, so my first impressions, I'm very impressed with this at the moment. It looks very professional and uh, always trying to up my game, try and be more professional. Like I said, I will do some uh, photos and I will stick them in this video. And I'll probably stick them in now. Right, so I've had a little play of it, and um, what do I think of it? I think it's excellent. I think it's very professional, 
Like I said, it's only £60 or just under £60, which is $70. I think it's really good quality, very well made. There's a lot to learn, but there's a lot of easy options for you to select. You can put it on Slave, which is what I'm going to be using for a while. So I'll get used to it and want to read up on it a bit more. I like the idea that you can control it from here <laughs> manually. Or the camera takes over as well, so that because that's plugged on there, you can get the camera just flash it and away she goes. I had a quick read of some of the instructions. It tells you everything you need to know, and they do do it as simple as as they can, which I thought was very helpful because to me this is quite complicated. I'm sure it'd be complicated to a lot of other people. So my first impressions, uh, I'm very pleased, and I hope you like the photographs. By the way. <laughs> And I hope I've got them in the right order because I'm not 100% sure that I've got them in the right order. But I tried it without the flash on different angles, different settings. Just generally played about with it. And um, you can see that I kept the camera in the same spot all the time. Uh, done some with the uh, flash on top and just tried different settings to see how it would uh, bounce it off the ceiling you know, directional, and you can see the effect. Never adjusted the camera whatsoever. Uh, left it on uh, basic settings. Actually, I left it on uh, on uh, automatic, and I thought, yeah, you can see the difference. I think you can see, the, well, you can see the difference. There's no I think. But, yeah, and I also done it with the light coming from one direction, which was sort of like to one side. And there was a picture of my fridge, by the way, in case you're wondering what it was. And I printed that uh, little logo out there. Always good time for family and friends, drinks. Please help yourself. Uh, I printed that on a, a magnetic uh, card, which I thought was quite good. So, yeah, I'm going to shut up now. It's, like I say, it's from a company called ESDDI. And it's a GM58 model. And if you've got a different uh, camera, say a Nikon or Sony, I do believe they make models for them as well. And uh, yeah, very pleased. It, there's a lot to play about with. The master, there's a master one, a manual, and a slave. I've got it set on slave, which just makes it easy for me. So with that, does it give the Yorkies thumbs up? Yes, I'm very impressed. And I do like the little green light as well. I'm very impressed with that. So yeah, it gets the Yorkies thumbs up. And uh, does it give you, get your thumbs up? Hopefully it does. If not. Give me the thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.